Greetings fellow citizens of this beautiful planet. This video is about the future and what I believe we as fellow citizens of this planet have to look forward to. This message is for those of you who have pretty much woken up to what's going on around you and what's right in front of our faces. There are plenty of videos out there painting the gloom and doom picture. Therefore, what I'd like to do in this video is point out what I see as the positive side of what I believe is about to happen. But for those of you who like the gloom and doom stuff, I will say only this. Yes, this planet and its population are about to be devastated. But is that really a bad thing? I don't think so. I'm not fond of being a slave. The way I see it, we are now at another major turning point in our development as a human race. It would appear we have once again allowed ourselves to be enslaved by a very small group of clever, misguided, power-hungry individuals. Now this group doesn't mind being labeled as the elite because that's how they see themselves. Those of us who don't contribute to their satisfaction are referred to as useless eaters, literally. You have to understand, they think of themselves as superior, kings if you will. As they see it, the rest of us are here to serve their needs. We know they choose our leaders, who in turn make sure laws are adopted to keep us in our place. We have allowed, once again, this small group, which have been referred to by many names, the Zionist elite, the Illuminati, the Cabal, the Shadow Government. We have allowed this group to adopt and force upon us the same flawed economic system, or version of it, over and over again. Now we must look at our history and choose once again. Will we completely destroy ourselves? Or will we learn from our past and adapt by accepting the folly of our past choices and recognizing that there is a better way? We have had a major advantage this time, the internet which has so far remained accessible, allowing a great many of us to wake up. Despite the effort of those in power to prevent such an awakening, the upcoming earth changes will also destroy our current failed, corrupted economic system. For the 99%, this should be looked upon as a blessing, once again leveling the playing field giving us a chance to start fresh. For the 1%, not so much. Now what is it we really have to look forward to? Well, a new sustainable economic system. One which is based on our planet's resources, not some fiat currency. Now Jock Fresco calls it a resource-based economy. Dr. Jacques Fresco is now 95 years old and has been trying to show the rest of us a far better way for almost five decades. Well, it's way past time for us to listen to this now wise old man. I am simply going to make an effort here to summarize his brilliant, well thought out civil system, which explains how we can provide all needs for every human being on this planet. Now any monetary system, that's a money-based system, is doomed to fail and for many reasons, only one of which is technological unemployment. Our technologies have evolved to the point that technological unemployment is demanding we adapt or starve to death. At the same time, some of these very technologies have made it possible for us to provide for all human needs for every person on this planet. 
Now I'm talking about providing housing, power, food, clothing, health care, <laughs> health care, education, transportation, and more for all seven billion people. How many of you are now wondering if such a thing is even possible? Well, I'm here to tell you that it is absolutely possible. Of course, it would have been much easier to accomplish if we had not adopted this crazy notion that we should be able to have as many children as we like, allowing us to reach that population of 7 billion in the first place. And we will have to rethink such a notion as we move forward in this next era, and once we see how many of us are left after the soon-to-come Earth changes and the Elite's plan to depopulate this planet. Think about it. When our personal value systems are no longer influenced by the need to acquire the all-American dollar or some other currency, well, then we will no longer need bankers, money, Wall Street, debt, corruption or war. By adopting a resource-based economy and providing for all the needs of our entire population, we will automatically eliminate the following. That $700 trillion elephant. That's right, $700 trillion hanging over our heads soon to hammer that final nail in the coffin of our current monetary system, derivatives. Now let's think about that. That's $100,000 for every man, woman, and child on this planet. Many of which live off $5 a day. So what would that mean to them? The Zionist elite and their ridiculous, unsustainable, doomed-to-fail monetary system will no longer exist. There will be no need for bailouts, the IRS, or even taxes. Insurance companies, how did that happen? <laughs> They'll be non-existent. Banks, compound interest, debt, the tool of our enslavement, will be gone. Inflation, greed, excess, waste, exploitation, fraud, foreclosures, needless laws, crime, violence, the legal system itself, incarceration, slavery, poverty, inequality, and war. That's right. All these things will no longer be a part of our society. All technologies now being hoarded or suppressed for the purposes of greed and power by the elite will become available for everyone to benefit from. I need you to understand something. This misguided idea that competition is good for the economy is a bunch of bullshit. They say it keeps the prices down. Bullshit. It encourages and guarantees corruption. They say striving for the American dream motivates and without it people would just sit around and do nothing. Again, this is all bullshit. But we fall for it. We accept their BS and go on with our enslaved lives like it just isn't so. Most of us actually think we're free people. We say, well, at least we're not living in China or North Korea or some other suppressive country. <laughs> we get to live, we get to vote for who enslaves us. <laughs> but look at it, do we really need someone else to run our lives? What do you think all these ridiculous laws are about? They're there to control us. Should we accept this crap that the government is only trying to protect us from ourselves? 
Really? Are you kidding me? We don't need them to protect us. Their own failed economic system is what's causing all the chaos. Do you think you would fear your neighbor breaking into your house or robbing the local bank or store if all their needs were provided for? Of course not. When everyone's needs are met, they will naturally want to contribute wherever needed. And with the new technologies doing most of the tedious and cumbersome work, people will naturally focus more on personal growth and expression, like art, spirituality, nature, relationships. That's right, you will be able to focus on the truly important things, the things that really matter. So many of us are so caught up in the chaos and just trying to keep our heads above water that we've forgotten why we do it in the first place. What could possibly be more important than our relationships with the ones we love? With a resource-based economy, there will no longer be any desire, or ability for that matter, to enslave our brothers and sisters, our fellow citizens. All contributions, that would be jobs or duties, will be considered equal whether you're in a position of leadership, a health care provider, or a social or public worker, a plumber, or a carpenter, there will be no need for judges, politicians, police, or lawyers. They will be replaced with mediators and magistrate panels or something like that. Everyone will receive the same compensation regardless of their passions or positions. Those who seek further education, knowledge, and wisdom will be doing so for their own personal growth and the furthering of their contribution to their communities. Up until now, we have all been controlled by fear, but with the new civil system, fear will no longer be an issue. Okay, so you ask, what about the bad dudes, the criminals? Well, let me ask you something. Under the current system, are we not allowing our slave masters, the elite, to train our soldiers, our children, to become serial killers? Do we put them in prison? How more upside down can things be? Really? Consider this. 95% of those currently incarcerated are there for some monetary or drug-related crime. Addiction is not a crime. It's a disorder that requires treatment, not incarceration. Personally, I believe most people that turn to drugs do so because they find life to be a disappointment and a tremendous struggle. This will no longer be a problem when all their needs are met. So what are we to do about the other 5%? Well, it's really all just a matter of perspective. Clearly, we will see much less, more than likely, no violent behavior when the stress of life itself is eliminated. I believe that it will be discovered that most existing jails and prisons will be perfect for use as transitional temporary housing where food, lodging, and counseling are already being provided. Health and mental care easily provided. Gates and fences will be removed, guards and locks replaced, transportation provided, and gardens installed. These are only some of the wonderful things we have to look forward to. It won't be the first time such a civilization has existed on this planet. And believe me when I tell you, we can pull this off. What choice do we have? We can all live as slaves and continue to be starved to death while the slave masters hoard all this planet's resources? Or we can take this opportunity to make a change 
and experience a blissful existence where all benefit. It can be done. It must be done. It will start by removing the source of power which enslaves us, their ridiculous monetary system. We can facilitate and expedite this by following the first five steps we laid out in our second video. If you haven't seen it or you don't recall the steps, please click on the link now popping up on your screen. And if you like the message presented in this video, please send it to everyone you can. Share it with your contact list, your viewers, whatever you can do to get this message out. Also, for your convenience, we have created some short playlists on our channel, which I'm sure will be of interest to you. To be notified of future video uploads, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Let's get busy and turn this around.